Are you searching for some simply sublime summer cocktails to sip in your caravan? Well, the sun is shining, we've got our Hawaiian shirts on, and we have got three banging beverages to tickle your taste buds with. You know when the, you make those little volcanoes in science <laughs> class at school? I'm gonna give this a try, I really don't want to. <laughs> got raspberry strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> sorbet. Sorbet. Raspberry strawberry. <laughs> sorbet. <laughs> 15 millimetres, millilitres. <laughs> Boozy, Boozy, frozen, frozen strawberry, strawberry lemonade. lemonade. Leave us a comment in, in the below. In the comments, leave us a comment in the comments. <laughs> We are starting off with something super simple, a blue Hawaiian Corona. There are only a few ingredients, some Corona beer, some blue caracal, some pineapple juice, and some cream of coconut. How badly wrong could we get this? It's easy. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> okay, first step, open up the Corona bottle with some scissors. Not as weird as it sounds, it's the only bottle opener we have. Open up, pour away some of the Corona, and then just throw this away. <laughs> just kidding. Next up, it is time to put all of the fun ingredients into a cocktail shaker, shake it up, and then put it back in the Corona bottle. Now, first up, this is where it is good that we have not drunk anything yet because maths is hard. Um, we need one ounce of blue curacao, which is about 30 millilitres. I'm using my kitchen spoon, which is 15 millimetres. Millilitres. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't drunk anything yet, honestly. And the recipe doesn't say if this is for one or for two, so we're going to assume it's for one. That means I need four of these. That's maths, right? Oh, oops. Sounds about right. Did too much? Did you get too much in? I got too much in. Uh oh. Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay, so that should be all the beautiful. Ooh, the blue curacao we require. <laughs> Next up. We also haven't eaten. We haven't eaten, yeah. So this, yeah. this could go wrong, stick around. Next up, we need two ounces of pineapple juice, which is 60 millilitres of pineapple juice for one. That means I need 120 millilitres of pineapple juice for two, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking just shorten millilitres for mil. Mil. This is not Saturday morning kitchen after all. That's a much better idea. Yeah. So if I need 120 mil of pineapple juice, how many 50 <laughs> mil tablespoons do I need? <laughs> Eight. Eight. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the maths is mathsing. <laughs> okay, here's some funky cocktail music while we do that. Is that eight? I may have lost count somewhere along the along the way, but that's okay because this is not one of the garlic <laughs> yeah, ingredients, so true. it doesn't matter if I put slightly too much in. And now we need the cream of coconut. So the cream of coconut had me stumped while walking around Sainsbury's, but it's in the cooking section, probably for Thai dishes, I imagine. So 60 ml of this, four tablespoons. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's creamy. Oh, that's weird. That is not what I expected. Uh -oh. is, is that, did the recipe look like that? Did we buy it, the wrong it, thing? Um, well, I guess that's where the shaking comes in, right? Because at the moment, oh, it looks like, um, do you know those 1960s um, marble effect tiles you had in bathrooms? <laughs> Our first bathroom looked like that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What did you make? <laughs> Looks like a science experiment. It does. <laughs> now, if you watched our Christmas cocktails video, you will know that I have history of getting things everywhere when I shake because I don't hold the top cap. So let's put that on. Next thing is to shake, right? Okay. This is the Tom Cruise one. <laughs> the Tom Cruise shot. Hang on, I need, I need to get a better shot of this. Okay. 
<laughs> did you, did we, have we overshaken it? <laughs> well, we wanted to get so many artistic shots that we've shaken this to within an inch of its life. Let's try this. <laughs> oh no, what's in, that face for? In the beer. <laughs> so we literally just pour this in now. This is the bit I'm looking forward to because I'm not quite sure how you're going to get that in there. Oh my gosh, look at the colour of that. <gasps> <laughs> Okay, it's definitely like a science experiment now. <laughs> I'm not quite sure that's supposed to happen. Um, I think it's because of all of the, the fizz. Did I do it too quickly? Maybe. Don't... It's very blue. Oh, look at that sludge. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, um. So here's your blue sludge. <laughs> Waste not, want not. There we go. I, I don't have any words. Um, I think it's going to be interesting. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you know when they, you make those little volcanoes in science <laughs> class at school? Well, uh, I don't think we're going to salvage this one, team. This is not at all how it looks. You know when you see things on Instagram, a reel looks dead easy. You're like, yeah, I can do that. Well, this looks nothing like it, but we'll try it. Why not? You were a brave man. I mean, it tastes nice. Pretty good. Just doesn't look very nice. <laughs> so, I just went back to the reel um, that I got the recipe for to double check it because this is what it's meant to look like. Not sure if you can see that. Um, and it looks nothing like the lovely reel on Instagram. However, I realised that we also forgot a vital ingredient, <laughs> white rum. However, I'm gonna give this a try because, you know. I'm <laughs> Why not? You made a thing of beauty. I made, I made a beautiful science experiment. So I'm gonna give this a try. I really don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> we could always just, you know, have a sip of white rum. <laughs> Okay, think? we made something really disgusting. <laughs> Yay us. But don't worry, I'm going to salvage this because we actually have another recipe that also uses Corona. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. This is going to be a bonus cocktail. I mean, obviously you don't watch our cocktail making videos for professional cocktail making, or at least I hope you don't. Um, so this calls for, did I say what I'm making now? No. I'm making a Corona Sunrise, which calls for a Corona um, tequila, but we don't like tequila. I had Barf. a very bad experience once at university, never again. So we're substituting the tequila for the white rum that we should have put in the last one orange juice and gren gren grenadine. grenadine which is basically just like a berry juice isn't yeah. it so let's give this a go so again i need to pop the top off of this pour some of this away or into a glass that now has a fly in it oh this is going so well <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to put that there and forget that happened. Um, then I need to put some of the uh, white rum into the bottle. When you say some, how many millimetres? Uh, I need six, uh, no, wait, 60 mil of tequilas. Tequilas. <laughs> <laughs> or 60 mil of white rum. 60 mil of white rum. Okay, so it's four Isn't of those. Is going to fit in there? Do I need to pour yeah, a little bit more Yeah, that'd be fine. Go and whack it in. Okay. So we're not so. doing this one in a shaker. 
is going no, straight in the bottle. No, because that went badly wrong for us the last time. I, I think... I think the problem was the cream of coconut. I think we used a cooking kind of cream of coconut, which was the only type that we could find, and possibly that was wrong. Um, so now I get the fun task of trying to get this in the bottle without spilling it everywhere. This is the very best white rum that the cheap shelf at Sainsbury's <laughs> can offer. I absolutely love spiced rum. So that's where all of my... That's where your rum money goes. my rum money goes. <laughs> okay, well, most of that went on the table, which is <laughs> fine. <laughs> we'll lick that up later. <laughs> um, okay, so then we need... I keep looking at the wrong recipe. I keep looking at the recipe for the Blue Hawaiian again. Let's not go down that road. 60 ml of orange juice. So the same amount, again, of orange juice. I think one of the vital cocktail making equipment that we are missing is a funnel because that would make this so much easier. Oh, is that all going to fit in? I'm sure it'll be fine. I think so. I think we're probably just about right. Okay. So that is the orange juice mostly on the table with the right white white rum. <laughs> The right <laughs> rum. <laughs> That's opposed to the right wrong rum. And 20 ml of grenadine. Right, I need to get a good angle for this in the sunlight because I think that's the money shot. Is it? Yeah. Well, I don't have a 20 ml measure, so I'm just going to put 15 ml in. 15 ml and a bit. Okay, we are ready now for the shot of the day. This is going to turn it a beautiful sunrise <laughs> colour, isn't it? Theoretically. Theoretically. And of course, we're filming this at sunset. That's why the light is so gorgeous. So, okay. Right. Let's go for it. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? The weight of expectation. Ooh, pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, let me. Oh, oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh no. Ah, it's coming. Oh, oh no. There we go. Volcano. Corona I, sunrise. I made a beautiful thing. How does it taste? All right, let's try this um, Corona sunrise. sunrise. I keep wanting to say tequila sunrise. <laughs> well, we should have made it with tequila. I think it probably would have tasted better. <laughs> oh, it's nice though. Oh, we didn't put a wedge of lime in. No, we didn't. I'm not it's, good at the aesthetic. It's not quite what I have pictured. It'll do. <laughs> Here. Okay, well, there you have it. Corona Sunrise. Cheers. Next up, cocktail number two. <laughs> Next on the menu is a boozy frozen strawberry lemonade, which sounds absolutely perfect on a sunny afternoon like this. As you can see, it requires a lot of ingredients and some additional preparation time, which also includes freezing before you can enjoy it. But I think it's gonna be worth it. I think this might be the best one yet. I agree, let's get cracking. The ingredients for this cocktail are lemon vodka, which we don't have, but we do have vodka and some lemons. That'll make lemon vodka, I'm sure. Lemon cello, which smells delicious. Prosecco, fresh basil, and fresh strawberries and lemon sorbet, which again, we don't have. And it wouldn't be a Mac and Sarah cocktail video if we did everything by the book, would it? But we do have raspberry strawberry. Stra <laughs> sorbet. <laughs> I haven't had any yet, I promise. So let's get preparing. First of all, I need to put some of the ingredients into this cocktail shaker as follows. 120 milliliters of Prosecco. Okay, I'll retrieve the cork and there is no damage. <laughs> it's brought Oops. with danger, children. <laughs> it's a dangerous game, this cocktail making. 85 ml of lemon flavored vodka, which we don't have, so I'm using 80 ml of regular vodka and five ml of lemon juice. A 
quarter of a cup of fresh basil leaves. 30 ml of this delicious smelling lemoncello. Oh, it's good. Next to muddle the ingredients in a cocktail shaker. I have never muddled anything in my life before, but I feel like it's gonna be a bit like making a potion, so I'm excited about it. Let's do it. Now to chop up these strawberries and chuck them in a blender. Half a cup of lemon sorbet or raspberry as we have into the blender with the strawberries. So we haven't actually used this before. Let's hope that it works. Oh. Obviously using a blender is extremely complicated. There we go. Okay, so I was meant to do that for 30 seconds and I think that was probably a little bit longer than 30 seconds, but never mind. So now in here, goes my lemon vodka basil infusion which I will pour in through my shaker and then blend until just combined and then we pop it in the freezer for four hours. It says until just combined. Now I'm going to transfer this into a freezer proof container and you can freeze it for four hours or 12 hours overnight. Now obviously we're putting this in our caravan freezer which is not particularly powerful in the freezing department so I hope this is uh, properly frozen by the time it comes to making the cocktails later on. Okay, let's see how this is done. Okay, this is nicely frozen. Now time for the next steps. Okay, all that remains now is to scoop this deliciousness into the blender, blend it until smooth and drinkable, and garnish. Ooh, yeah, that's a lovely consistency, isn't it? Of oh, course, that having, looks good. having vodka in it doesn't freeze completely. Uh, and there's quite a bit in here, actually. This is good. Ooh, yeah. Did you just take a sneaky little uh, no. go of that? No. Ooh. Pop the top on. I'm very excited for this. Flip it over. I feel like this is going to be our best one. I think so too. Finally, a drink that works. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. take off the lid. Of course, lots of people use these blenders as like a pre-work smoothie. I don't recommend having this before work. <laughs> well, or do, I mean. You know. Let's pour this beauty. And now for a little garnish, some strawberry and some basil. And hey presto, a boozy strawberry lemonade, frozen. Okay, now for the moment of truth to taste these beautiful looking cocktails. They look amazing, obviously, because we've used the raspberry sorbet in here instead of instead the, of the lemon. lemon. I'm sure both will be delicious. Okay, let's, have a go. let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Very refreshing. You can mm. taste the vodka. Mm. It's a little bit like an alcoholic ice pop. Do you, yes, do you remember those 10p ice pops you yes. used to get as a kid? The ones that you would peel the plastic off and... The plastic, peel the plastic off and then push it up. Yes. And then at the bottom, it would melt, wouldn't it? And then you'd suck that bit out of the bottom. Oh, I'm going to enjoy yeah, this. Yeah, it's like an ice pop with a kick. Ooh. This is going to go down very mm, easy. That's so refreshing. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, this last one is so easy. Not even we can mess it up, even after that frozen boozy strawberry lemonade. What we got? We are making a dirty Shirley float, an Ooh. alcoholic twist on a traditional classic. Super simple, only four ingredients. Well, let's get into this one then, shall we? As we said, this one's dead simple. It is just 30 mil of grenadine, 45 mil of vodka, top it off with ginger ale, and then dollop a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. So let's get making this dirty Shirley float, shall we? Okay, so 30 mil of grenadine, which is one table, no, two tablespoons of grenadine. And this one doesn't require any shaking. It's just a stirring kind of drink. I think the shaking was when we went wrong with the Corona oh, Blue Hawaiian. Oh, do you think so? Yes. Should we not have shaken that? I think we overshook it. We overshook it. Oh, there we go. 45 mil of your finest vodka. Okay. Ooh. So that is a tiny bit more than 45 mil of vodka. And now it says top with ginger ale, but we've got to kind of judge it just right so that when we put the ice cream in, it doesn't all just go everywhere. So let's try this. Oh, ice cream. It's not for puppies. It is not for puppies. Not puppy ice cream. Now for a scoop of ice cream. And this stuff is nice and soft, actually. So I'm going to get a nice bit of ice cream like that. Ooh, that's <laughs> quite a lot. And pop it in there. Oh, look at that, just right. Oh my goodness, that looks mm -mm. amazing. Just right. It's interesting because this just looks a little bit like Ribena. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect it doesn't taste like it. Okay, missus, here you go. Are you mixing the ice cream up? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Are you supposed to? I don't know, but it's kind of... Is it fizzing? It's fizzing. <laughs> what? Oh. Is it good? Oh my goodness, we have success. This is delicious. Now, I was never one for Coke floats as a kid, but I have got to say, this is really good. I mean, on a hot summer's day, what could possibly be better than a pink drink, alcohol with ice cream? I mean, come on, you had me at ice cream. Oh, that's that's quite strong. <laughs> so you're gonna knock that back then? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna down this in one. No, I'm not gonna down this in one. But I, oh, look at that! I, did, will it get better if I mix in the ice cream into the? I don't know. I feel like maybe, well, it, maybe will. it will. Maybe it will. Maybe it'll get sort of creamy as well. Oh, a bit like um, an ice cream soda. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that yeah, is I good. Like that. So is that two, two out of four? 50% success rate? <laughs> I, mean, I think we did all right there. That's pretty good. I, I can't really remember what our success rate was on our other cocktail making videos. So Very low. <laughs> fairly low so i think these have uh, been pretty good pretty successful excellent all right then knock that back missus cheers cheers well that's a wrap on another one of our disastrous cocktail videos hope you found that entertaining i think my favorite cocktail was this dirty shirley float it is absolutely delicious oh my favorite actually is the frozen boozy strawberry lemonade that was absolutely gorgeous and really refreshing well we hope you've enjoyed this video if you've got any top tips of summer cocktail recipes to enjoy in your caravan you know where to put them in the comments below meanwhile thank you so much for watching see you in the next one bye bye. Cheers. Cheers.